Hey folks, yes, things look a little different because Trinsim World has updated to Trinsim World 2020 and this is the Peninsula Route add-on. Welcome to South San Francisco. Yep, California dreaming, baby. And we got ourselves a couple of rather nice uh, uh, Jeep 38s, I think these are, from Union Pacific. And we're shifting a load of uh, ore cars, so we should be filming in with this. Let's get aboard. I have missed some of the uh, freight missions from uh, CSX, so this should be a nice little fun diversion. Everything's nice and familiar. Insert the reverse handle. We're going to reverse. Cut off to in. Uh, nope, to freight. That's a good point. Let's release our brake. And what are we doing next? Okay, we're going somewhere. So, I believe we're heading backwards to hook up to these. Not many cars, but short little run. Good to get started with. I will say the performance has dramatically increased with uh, 2020, so whatever they've done is good. There we go. And we should be hooked up. Are we going backwards or are we going forwards? Let's make sure those cars are all hooked up. Getting up and down is a bit slower now, but you know, we do what we do. Yep, everything is hooked it up. As far as I can tell. Da -da 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 -da. Come on. Yep, pins dropped, we're good to go. Back to our loco up the front. It looks a bit more like you're actually climbing things now. Okay, so where does it actually want us to go? Because I'm not sure. We'll go to M. We'll go to Root. And we are apparently going... Okay, we're going Longhood Lead. We're going backwards. Okay. We can do this. No, we're going forwards. I'm confused. Okay, so... Let's do this. Heading to a nearby unloader, so I'm not sure where we're heading to. I'm assuming it will tell us at some point. Yep, here we go. So our speed limit is 10 for the moment. It flies past as an FP40H. Or an F40PH. I forget the designation exactly, but some actual cool commuter trains. If I said cool train, oh my god, what am I turning into? Okay, so we've not got a huge train today. Just one, two, three, four, five, six aggregate cars. But we're driving freight in California, so I'm kind of happy with this. I've always loved this compared to the original train sim, just because this has got so much more to do. It feels more immersive as a simulator. And, hey, it's fun. It's a new thing to simulate that I get to play with, and I like sim games. I don't like crawling along at 10 miles an hour, rattling down the tracks. I'm not sure why I need two locos for six aggregate cars, but we'll go with it. I guess we're set up in switcher config right now. Yeah, hi folks. We're just rattling past you. Don't worry about us. Where am I going? Is the question. 0.9 miles. Could take some time. We think we're switching off the main here we are and I think we're gonna get to dump some aggregate too so we're dropping into this line here one thing they definitely need to add is the Cajon Pass I don't think it's in this but it'd be so cool if it was imagine a big freight coming up and down that that'd be amazing I'd totally like to run the Cajon Pass So we're on level ground, doing about 10 miles an hour. We can leave it in notch one. I think? We'll find out. If we accelerate a bit too much, we'll slow down. I mean, we're basically at running pace, so what the heck? I will say this runs a lot faster and better performance than um, CSX Heavy Hall and the Northeast Corridor. So there is a benefit to that. 
I'm hitting a solid 50, 60 FPS at the moment with this, and it's an improvement, honestly. The scenery looks a lot better, the world looks more real and more vivid, and its overall game performance is a lot better, which is nice. Okay, so point seven out, still doing 10. So we're uh, stopper locations, uh, we're probably picking up more. Okay, that'll be it. We picked up these six, and we'll probably pick up a few more cars over there. As we are going in the right direction here, a lovely 10 miles an hour. Yep, no, two exhaust fans at the back. These are Jeep 38s. I thought it might be 40s at first, but they're not. The 38-2s, I can't believe I know this, but quickest way to identify it, look at the overhang behind the cab, where the roof on the cab is. Notice how it's angled backwards to deflect rain away from the doors. Yeah. Apparently, that means I know it's a dash two. But then again, most of them operating now are, so... I'm sounding like a train nerd. I'm going to just accept this. I mean, what the heck. It's a fun game. You learn stuff about it by accident. And it's kind of cool. It's not something I'll ever do. You know, driving trains. It's cool. As a game, I enjoy it. Right. Um, everything's lined the right way here. 800 yards. Yeah, the brakes are all functional. I like how there's a lot more stuff around. Like even just stuff in yards. It just makes things a little bit more interesting than vital. Like things are going on. Even if it is low poly lumps of rubble. And of course California's eponymous concrete rivers. Although this isn't the LA River, thankfully, this is San Francisco, but it's a canal. And in tribute to this being a train sim video, uh, I'll give us a notch of power just to keep us moving, but I gotta go stand out on the deck. Yeah, Titanic moment. And if one of my friends from Aspirant Gaming is watching, Walter, look, three school buses. See? School buses. He likes school buses. He's very strange. And geo trackers. Weirdly enough. Let's get back in here before we uh, horribly speed at 11 miles an hour. We need a notch of performance here to give us up to 10 whole miles an hour. So far, I've done the introduction mode. I've done a couple of the different training scenarios for 2020 and the whatever this is, sorry, the uh, Peninsula route. And I'm pretty happy with it. It's performance is up, the visuals look good. They look better, I'd say, maybe similar, but better. A uh, Couple of GUI changes in the menu. Uh, that's a little bit shinier, but in general, uh, quickly map, things are actually performing quite well. Okay, so we need to line down to here and to this one. So we're coming off at this and then the first up. We're lined ready. Need to make sure we're on the right track over here though. Yes, we are. Perfect. Come on, door close. Okay, so we're stopping up here. Probably gonna have to cut and go grab some other cars. As we rattle through the yard at low speed very freight train. Could have done this like 20 or 30. Why minor speed restriction when the flipping massive passenger trains go flying past me at 60? Right, we'll set our brakes here. Probably going to have to go into one of these sidings I'm expecting. Probably should start to throw some... No, God. I overshot a bit there. Because I turned on the dynamics instead. And we're stopped. Okay. Uncouple the first three hoppers. Let's do that. Oh, we're making delivery. I guess they're going to pick them up themselves. So we're dropping off these three at the back. Leaving them here. Uh, 
I guess we've got a new end of train device. Cool. Okay, so go over the construction yard. What are we doing here? Do I have to go over there? We'll go over there. We'll find out what we're going over there for. Or does the train have to go via construction yard? Oh, I think I see what might have to be done here. Oh no, we want this back here. Sorry. Uh. So we're going to take the first three in here. Oh, we're dumping them there. It's a short drop off at the end. Okay, so we'll have to come back. We'll side those ones once we've emptied them. And then we'll pick the other ones up and we'll drop those in as well. That makes more sense. So they clearly want the aggregate for there. So right now we're going to take the three at a time in. Because there's not enough room for all six cars. Now everything makes sense to me. At least partially. Okay, we'll get to some speed here. That'll be our hopper drop off there. So we're gonna to wanna to go over to like stop over it, I'm assuming. I don't have a conductor to count me over it, so I'm gonna to have to use outside view. Okay, we're nearly across this now. Come on, let's go faster, a little faster. In we can. Do I have to get out for every... No, it's doing it in one go. Okay, that was nice and easy. Just pull across and it, out it drops. Next car. And the final car, and that's the end of our line there, which is why we couldn't bring in more. Okay, so we need to back into that siding there. So, back inside, and we have to do some running about now. Let's get out of here. You know, if we'd only brought one locomotive, we could have fit another car in here. You wasteful, time consuming idiots. Can I close these manually? No. So we're going to side these bad boys over here. And those ones are closed, so it's all automatic. Thank you, Trains in World. Get back aboard our uh, power. This would be so much faster with a conductor. Okay. Oh god, wrong direction. That's the right direction. And backwards we go. Oh god. Uh, I'm being special. I'm being very special. I'm being very special. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Please. Uh, panic. I just went to notch 8 to get myself moving and then forgot to turn it off after until I was flying along. Okay, so we're backing up here. We did a bit of a naughty. We'll dump these cars here. Pick up the other three and chuck those in. And we should be good to go. I like this sort of thing because it's not just driving from A to B. There's stuff involved in it. You know, there's getting out. There's switching lines. There's actual work involved. All right, let's stop this bad boy here. And we'll drop this off there. Perfect. Right, need to uncouple these three. We'll leave those here. And I have to go across because there's a cut off on the other side only, apparently. There we 
go, and the train device now on the locomotive. Do we actually have handbrakes on these? Yes, we do. We'll just put the handbrake on partially to hold these. We're not on sloping ground, but yeah, he'll do. We'll come up here. We can't get to this side of the train. Whilst we're shunting around, we'll leave that open. So, let's head over here and hook up. This time we set the right direction before we do anything. Pull ahead of the switch, switch it, drop back, we're good to go. Oh, the camera's stuck. Yep, just our two locos now. We're going to hook up to these boys and get it moving. So we pull up to the uh, hopper switch ahead. They could have just made that line at the end of this hopper a little bit longer, and this would have been so much more efficient as a process for them as a company. Cheaper on fuel for this company as a railroad to not have to keep going back and forth, you know, switching in three and four cars at a time. I mean, surely it'd be a lot less effort if they just made the the track lead a little longer. You know? Maybe I'm crazy. Right, we're passing over the switch now. We'll try and do this by eye. Those tyres are a good marker. And down we hop into the dusty California pack. And look at that, we parked that thing perfectly. Let's back up and get those bad boys. Can't believe I'm referring to rail cars as bad boys, but there we go. Ooh, handbrake. This is why I'd like a conductor, it'd make my life a lot easier. And back we go. Pick up these last three cars, hook them to the empties over there, knock the handbrake off, and we should be good to go. Mission completed, ideally. Let's put a bit of bit of braking here so we don't slam into these things. We're not Pan Am Railways. Yeah, we kind of Pan Ammed it a little bit there. Full power to knock it, stop us rolling backwards and go forwards. Let's make ourselves efficient. Once we clear the switch, knock it back, go pick up the last three, knock the handbrake off, good to go. Nice, simple little mission. Which is honestly why I like this. Again, going from A to B, not so fun. I don't mind it sometimes, but stopping at station platforms is irritating, but I don't know, like the freight missions just feel a little bit more purposeful. You know, especially when you're switching cars and doing all that sort of work. It feels more like you're an engineer, not just an autopilot. It's probably because, like most people, I've never been on a freight train. Just passenger trains and going from A to B is not interesting. But doing yard work like this is kind of cool. Alright, so let's get our conductor's eye view on. Knock the speed down a little bit until we can knock these off. Let them bring the aggregate into their plant. They should play music here. It could be a rock concert. Oh, God, did I just say that? Yep, I said that. Dump one. Dump two. Dump three. Brakes on. All right, we'll couple into the last three cars here, and we're out of here. Okay, I'm stuck between some tyres. 
coming all the way back. If I was the conductor, I could just go whoop, and ride on this, but I can't, can I? Is this a multiplayer support that... I don't. It probably has, but I, I wish this had multiplayer support. I would totally play with someone just so I could do this sort of stuff. Like, I just want to ride on top of a hopper car whilst we're going down the track. Come on, let me off. Thank you. Back up here. You know, I'm just going to troll somebody by switching this. <laughs> You're going to yard. Nah, nah. I. It'll probably send me this way, so I can't leave really do that. Otherwise, it'll screw me over. Those are the most pitiful little stops there. I should try to work out how to get into the seat before I actually start thing moving, but what the hell? Okay, coupled up to these boys. Knock off that handbrake I left on stupidly when I'm on flat terrain. Although technically we are at a d downgrade, so... Probably a good thing I put the handbrake on, maybe? Without the aggregate in, they'll be lighter, they'll roll. So, did a safe thing? Hmm. I mean, I'm leaving cars alone. I should probably put the handbrake on. Makes total sense to me. God, I love the look of these Union Pacific Locos. They look really cool. I mean, I love the CSX ones, don't get me wrong, but... There's just something classic about Union Pacific. Hmm. Okay, let's not uh, Pan Am this. Come on, slow down. And they're not moving because I need to Neutral brakes in full application. Knock off that handbrake I left on. Then we have to uncouple from all six. So I'll set the handbrake on the lead car. Rather than one in the middle, which should just troll the next crew that's coming to deal with this. So it's one, two, three, four. This is the car we put the handbrake on. Interesting how they all took up the slack there on the blue slope. That's kind of a cool physics thing they've done. So I need to get across the other side of this. Set the magical wheelie device on this one. Handbrake is on. I'm being a conscientious engineer. Unlock the coupler. And we are out of here. Where does it want me to stop? Let's check the map. Oh. Back over there, because it probably wants me a different line. Yeah, it'll want me a different line. Okay. We can do this. I'm running around on my own like an idiot. Okay, we're going forwards. Let's give you some of that. Let's give you some of that. Why am I getting up? No! Chug a look forwards. Do what it tells us to do, huh? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Still, I'm having fun. Those of you who like watching these train sim videos are probably also having fun because it's a train sim video and it's new. But we do what we need to do. Throttle's idle. Correct brakes selected. Again, we'll pull into our usual stopping position of about here. No cars in the back here, should be fine. Oh, mother, really? Yeah. We'll just pretend that I didn't somehow manage to do that with the train's wheels on top of it, but. Eh. Watch this go horribly wrong. We'll 
We'll see if this works. It might not do. Also, God, where's the bell? Stop it. Is it working? Is it working? I think it's working. Yes. So we'll pull it down here. After we performed magic with a switch. Really bright here, isn't it? Just a bit of brakes in there. We'll bring it to a stop. Good work with the hoppers. Collect them all back up and haul the cars back to San Francisco Yard. So we're picking them all up? Or are we? Why did we have to disconnect after we'd done that? Oh my. Right, fine. Let's pull ahead of that switch at that end and hook up to the other side. Is this going to really make me bring them all the way back? Well, we'll do it. We'll do what it tells us to do. Chug along this side, or we'll have to switch motive units once we pick these up. Unless I choose to ride from the rear facing cab and be contrary. Maybe that's why it's given us a, an MU. It's probably exactly why it's given us an MU rather than making us ride long hood lead. Although, again, don't mind running long hood lead. Although, what I would like to see Train Sim World add, this sounds incredibly nerdy, is I'd like them to actually add some older units like. Jeep 7s, Jeep 9s. The big high hood beasties. I'd love some of that. And now I'm saying beasties regarding trains. Someone get me help. And me and my big handbrake related mouth again. Wish I had a conductor. It'd make my life a lot easier. No, nope, wrong way. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Time's money. And with their stupid ass short yard lead, they're making me waste money. Knock a little speed off. Nothing major. Nice regular coupling. Okay, knock this. Let me off. Thank you. Gonna go knock off the handbrake. Because here's me being safe and costing myself time. Come on. Off we go. Good. We're going. We are leaving. Oh, I'd love to ride a whole train on one of those railings. That'd be hilarious. Apparently it's going to let us run long hood lead. So right now I do not care because we are getting out of here. Let's go. Okay, we have to do 10 miles now all the way back, don't we? And we're going too quickly. We'll burn that off in no time. What's three miles now between friends, huh? Yeah. Mission accomplished, I think you might say. Touch a break, knock that down to 10, just to appease the game world. Because I feel guilty when I do it improperly. Yeah, this mission was slated to be 20 minutes. So I'm pretty sure I didn't lag around wasting time. Although, granted, the handbrakes cost me a minute or so. Not the end of the world. This is definitely going 10 minutes beyond what the mission quoted itself as taking. So, unless they're literally being ninjas and speeding... I don't know. I do like how there's all these little industries and things. That's definitely a lot cooler for operating the freight trains. 
There we go. Better view. All those little industries around the place. The canal again. And we should be dropping into one of the other lines now. Yes, we are. Get off the main city. High, fast passenger trains. Don't get interrupted by our slow-ass freight train. Going at stupid slow speeds. Even though we could blatantly go faster. Either way, it's under a mile now. We're not far away. Let's, uh... Oh, we're going off here, are we? Oh, yeah, that's the way it was lined last time. Oh, look, another river. No, it's a road. Okay. Chug, chug, chug a lug. Point eight of a mile. What's that billboard say? On line A. Is that for the trains, or is that for... The roads? Oh. Online mapping. Oh, okay. I couldn't see the blue at that distance. Hey, would you stop blipping your horn, please? I'm trying to record a YouTube video. You inconsiderate. Yeah, inconsiderate. Leave me alone. I don't even know if they can hear me, but... Nah, whatever. Horn. Oh, okay, so, update and newsflash. Turns out some inconsiderate asshole parked their car in front of the driveway of my next door neighbour, so he can't get out to go to work. Which is rude. So I feel sorry for my neighbour, and less sorry for the inconsiderate asshole that parked their car in front of his drive. So there you go. That's the truth behind the honk, 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 honk. As we're now putting six of a mile away and should be getting into feet soon. And we can end this torturous slug at 10 miles an hour. And I thought running around the northeast corridor in a switcher was uh, painful. Apparently not. Come on. 0.6 of a mile away. I'm tempted to speed. Sorry, game. Really tempted to speed. Yay, under a thousand yards now. Okay. I forget that a mile isn't yards. Yards isn't a mile. Weird numbers. Of course I'm driving under the speed limit. It's not exactly hard not to. Okay, so we've got a red up ahead, so we should be stopping when we get there. I know it's not a crossing, but meh. We'll leave the bell on through the station. So people that step out and get stomped on by a freight train. Even though there's no platform on this side. Wherever it takes us, where it takes us. Oh, you think you're cool, do you? Look at me, I'm ghost riding the whip. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. You think you're all amazing? Look at this. No one's driving. This is unstoppable. Denzel Washington's not even here. Yeah, I should probably get back in the cab. Okay, 600 yards out, and I'm going to knock that damn bell off before it drives me insane. Good. Okay, not too far away. Actually, let's pop you open so I can see a bit better. Actually, let's improve my visibility. Even though I should probably be in the other cab, but eh, who's counting? South San Francisco West Yard. 500 yards. Cannot come soon enough. I'm loath to start counting down the numbers because it will just start to sound repetitive, but... So overall, first impressions of Trains in World 2020. Of course, not tried any of the routes I've tried before, so I can't tell if there have been updates to performance on those routes yet either. 
although it could well be the case so i'll have to take a look and you'll find out in the next video but the peninsula add-on of southern california san francisco san diego sort of area decent performance looks good and uh, interesting new routes and options like i said there's the f40 ph uh, with passenger cars there's the jeep 38s and other union pacific freight locomotives of course you've got your service options so you can run different routes I suspect they're going to be adding more as it comes, rather than... I am completely on the wrong track, aren't I? I'm feeling like I'm on the entire wrong track. And this is going to be horrible. Uh, yeah. So, turns out I was meant to get on there. Fast forward time. Apparently, I can't get off that side because I'm standing on a rail and the rail decides to go... I don't want to work. Okay. This should be us good. And this should throw us onto this line. God damn it. This is a whole mess. Okay, and we're going all the way over there. I'm here. We're going onto here. This should be automatic. We'll, we'll deal with this when we get to it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm an idiot. Fast forward again. So it feels like we're actually on the right track here and we should end up on this line. And I'm hoping this next one is straight, otherwise we're screwed. Unless I can switch it in time. Yep, we're, we're perfect here. Okay, we're good. So this is the correct line to be on. So after that little snafu of directions with me thinking, oh no, of course, these are all automatic switches around a station. These will all be mainline stuff. There won't be manual throws. I'm going to have to run around the tracks with a freight train. No, those are all manual throws. So we went straight past it. <laughs> uh, we did our best. But we're nearly here now. So 200 yards out. And like I said, the Peninsula Route add-on is great. Uh, really cool. Nice new stuff. And fun missions. That's the best part. I highly recommend you go for it if you'd like to. The actual upgrade to Trains in World 2020 is free if you're in Trains in World. But the route add-ons, of course, are all add-on. But they're coming out with more. Now they've brought 2020 out. Which is cool. So 170 yards and we will stop this big metal beast and we can end this one. And you guys will uh, hope you've enjoyed this little aggregate trip. Not much going on, but a good little intro and semi-review. Slash look at how incompetent Farkit still is with a train video. But there you go. <laughs> we got it done in the end. 100 yards. Come on. Come on. 80 yards. If this is the wrong place, I am literally leaving it here. And I'm going to go find a burger bar or a Starbucks or something. And you can do this on your own. Alright. 30 yards. 20 yards. I think we're good. We are, in fact, good. Versa to neutral. Yeah, we delivered the aggregates. That is us done, I think. 
least I hope so. Well, folks, thanks for joining me here on uh, Trains in World 2020 in the Peninsula Route add-on. Uh, hopefully that aggregate's delivered itself. So, there we go. With all that derp. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Bye.